Happy April, distance learning faculty. This is Leah in the Distance Learning and Instructional Innovation Center, and I just wanted to make a quick uh, screen video of the updates that we've made to the NLC DLC template for summer 2015 online courses. And we're sending this out a little bit early, uh, just so you guys have the most up-to-date modules for week one course orientation and the NLC academic and learning support services module in case you want to get those ready now for summer or fall. Uh, we'll probably have a few more updates for the fall but I'll send out a separate email for that uh, as we get closer to the start of classes. So uh, on the home screen I've, of the NLC DLC template course I've outlined here at the bottom the the revisions that I've made since the spring and if you need to see what the spring ones are there's a link at the bottom that will take you to a separate page within the course that has the video and, and details of what I did back in January. And the course modules list uh, you'll see that I've added SU15 to a few of the pages. This at a glance will tell you what pages have been updated and so when you go to import them into your course uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see the ones that are labeled SU15 and know that those are the most up-to-date ones and you can go and delete any previous versions if you like or hide them uh, from your students. Uh, it's always helpful to go ahead and re-import everything that's in the NLC Academic and Learning Support Services module simply because there's a few tweaks here and there every semester and, and, and you just make sure you have the most up-to-date one. Uh, for the Blackboard Collaborate sessions, again that's optional but we did update some, uh, some steps on this page because the uh, students are now required to download and install a launcher uh, to run the Collaborate sessions and then I have a few new uh, handouts here which I'll detail here in a second. On the technical support page, the uh, minimum browser requirements have updated a few times since January, so just make sure that you have uh, copied over or copied over the entire page, whichever you like, this information right here. On the BioSig verification assignments, we had a few faculty requests that we include some information on where students can go to if they have technical issues with signing in, who they can contact. Um, a lot of times we were getting the calls or or uh, the <laughs> AUAs are getting calls, so I just want to make sure that students are directed to, to the district IT help desk line. And so on each of these assignments, one through eight, I've updated the copy a little bit. So it now says if you experience technical issues, uh, contact district IT and not Canvas. And uh, just to show you, if you don't want to actually import all these new assignments over, what you can do is go to edit the assignment settings over in the upper right and you can just copy and paste all the text that's there into your current assignments if you like. So I'm going to hit cancel and on this uh, eighth assignment I hadn't updated yet so I could show you the process of how I did it. So right here, say edit assignment settings and you can just delete the old text and paste the new text. And say update assignment at the bottom. And there you have it. The, now the students know who to contact in the event that they're having technical issues. There's a new page that I've added to the week one course orientations module that meets the quality matters standard. It's just basic common sense information, I think, but it's uh, it's helpful to have within your course and, and it, it, it's, it meets the quality online instruction uh, standard. And uh, you can read that. And there's even a link at the bottom to the student handbook if they have any questions. There's also, by popular demand, uh, information page on BrainFuse, the online tutoring vendor that the Alamo Colleges uses. It has a list of all the subjects that they tutor in and the available times. And there's also even contact information at the bottom of that page for all of the Alamo Colleges uh, academic tutoring centers. And there's actually a link that takes it to a supplemental page right here that tells them how to access BrainFuse, whether it's through ACES, Canvas, or you can embed the link within the module itself. On that Blackboard Collaborate page that I mentioned, I updated, it just has updated instructions for how to access uh, the session now that they have, the students have to download the Blackboard Collaborate launcher. And so you can just copy and paste 
or actually I would just copy over this entire page over to your course if you're using uh, Blackboard Collaborate sessions within your online course. Uh, one of the handouts that I updated from the beginning of the semester is the technical information page. On the second page, the back of it, we had uh, just some helpful hints for online courses, but I've replaced that with the netiquette. I think it's good to have a hard copy or for students to have a hard copy there at the beginning of the semester. Uh, I recommend that you download and email this to your students at the first day or first week of class especially if you notice any students haven't uh, participated yet or say, saying they're having trouble uh, accessing the course, this will give them a little troubleshooting guide uh, to, to help them access their course. And then I've also added or updated the flyer for the, the OLEARN courses. There's three now, one for each semester. The, the one that's published right now is the one for summer. If you have a summer one or eight course, students will need to register for the OLEARN with CRN 13322, or if it's a summer two course, 13323. I've also added in a fall and a spring course. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, I'm at 486-5373, and Gerald's at 486-5375. Thanks.